Hey, this is Tony from Hurricane Wind Power. Quick note, if you are a solar expert, um, this is not the video for you. This is a video for a lot of the folks out there that have been asking me how things go together. So, you know, that's the purpose of this video today. And if, um, you know, you already know how all this stuff and breakers and combiner boxes and multi-power point tracking stuff goes together, then you know, you probably want to go hit next in your playlist. This video is probably not for you, but, you know, for my subscribers that are asking, here we go. All right. I've been asked uh, several times about wiring boards, stringing panels, and how this stuff goes together. So I'm going to take a few moments. If you'll bear with me, I'm going to hook some of this stuff up, show you some readings, and show you some different ways to hook things up. Today what we have here is the Midnight Classic 150 MPPT controller. We've got a Midnight PV6 combiner box and we have some breakers in here. And then over here we have the baby box with a 100 amp breaker. So as I had mentioned in my last video, just for the sake of having a power source, I want to hook this thing up so bear with me a moment while I get my wires together and we will hopefully do some educational things that will help some of our customers out um, so this is going to be just on a 12 volt system and what we can do here is show you you know the open voltage on a 12 volt panel is around 18 to 21 volts something like that depending on whatever manufacturer this is a larger 60 and then there's even 72 cell modules but this is a 60 cell they run often in 290 to the newer stuff hot stuff around 320 3 330 um, open voltage around 40 you know around 40 volts so what that means is is when you start trying to use 24 or 12 volt panels and you know when you're running um, power in, in the distance you are you, you there's some advantage to running higher voltage with lower current current is what heats up the wires you know you can bring in you know, say you put three of these panels in series with just hooking the negative and positive together. You know, that would bring you in at around 120 volts. The current stays the same. So, you know, for the people new to wind and solar, maybe we can do some education today and uh, show you how we can take some of that charging current or charging voltage and convert it to higher current using the multi-power point tracking controller. So to emulate DC input, what I have here is just my old um, DC multimeter output. Um, this thing puts out about 60 volts and 3 amps. So I mean it would be roughly equivalent to taking um, 350 watt panels and putting them in series, just hypothetically. So, um, a lot of you ask how these breakers go in this midnight box over here. So I'm gonna give, they, they've got a um, schematic on the combiner on the, on the bottom side. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a look. If you wanna come around, you know, here's the schematic and they show you you know how this thing goes in you know here's your combiner here's your DC and over here on this side here's your ground so we okay so we're taking the midnight front off and here you see this is a PV6 so in this configuration there's only three slots so you know this wire uh, here we go. Go ahead and 
bring this down. So, you know, here's your inside of the box, you know, for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm not grounding this. Here's your uh, combiner DC out to go to the inside of your controller. And here's your positive side. I'm going to leave this open and I'll show you some readings on it. I've got this on. To show you what's up, I'll flip that on. Okay, and yeah, it detects the 12 volt source over here. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to put our positive probe, which this would again be roughly to be like putting 300 or 350 watt panels in series. And then we got one of our negatives here, input. And when we flip this guy on here, we should have some charging. And there we go. So, you know, okay, so just to show you real quick what's going on with the voltmeter um, inside the combiner, you know, we've got the DC probe going over here. And then when I touch this outbound combiner, there's your 57 in. This is your run into the midnight. Here is the run for right now that we have established to go to the negative and here we have one more look at that 58 volts uh, here's your input on the classic and you know again i want to reiterate to you guys off-grid guys 12 volt guys you know keep asking you know it's a lot cheaper to buy these panels, these big panels that are a lot less per watt and, you know, sometimes convert this power. Um, we're at 60 volts and only 3 amps. And what we're able to do with this charge controller, again, let's bring it in one more time, just to reinforce, we're able with the multi-power point tracking controller to reconfigure some of this voltage into current. So you can see over here we're at 3 over here you can see we're at 11.1 .1. so i hope we have cleared up you know a little bit of the confusion about the uh, multi-powerpoint co tracking controllers the breakers the combiner boxes and how all this stuff goes together if uh you know we'll be glad to sell you all the parts to build your own if you don't feel comfortable build, building your own Buy, from, buy one from us and I'll put it together from you on hurricanewindpower.com. Now we can see, you know, we got 53 volts in, 155 watts. This thing's making about 11 amps on this thing. So, you know, remember this power supply. So, um, you know, again, one more look at the wiring on the positive side. You got the combiner, you got the bus bars. So for all you guys who are taking stuff and building things uh, at home when you especially when you get up into the 48 volt stuff very dangerous to start taking automotive type breakers and solenoids and messing around with 48 volt systems this thing's probably going to beep at me a minute over here and let me know that it's charged up but um your negative side your grounding side now here's your positive breakers if i turn this thing off i get the right breaker and you know, we're down at zero you can isolate your strings like this and be able to tell you know which one is working or not working big benefit to 
you know, setting your stuff up correctly in a PV6 or any of the combiners using the stuff correctly as it was meant to be used. Again, you know, they've got a great diagram right there on the back. It shows you, not only that, it shows you the grounding configuration, everything right there in one product. This uh, battery is already moved over from the bulk state to the absorb state, you know, that quick. So we're putting 157 watts in off of this 60 volt, three amp power supply. So um, here's your, here's your off breaker. All right, just real quick, we have one more look here. We can match up on the DC side from where we started. Um, we're at 14.3 in our battery rating. And my little solar generator slash jump starter slash tire inflator slash, you know, everything, you know, we've got a pretty consistent reading. So, you know, one of the important things that is incorporated in our OTG board of any type is a 100 amp breaker. Uh, we're a 96 amp controller, 100 amp double throw breaker to the controller. You see the watts went down to zero there. Um, some of the stuff that comes with the midnight, this goes over the top. Don't forget to put your dust covers in the bottom slots, you know, to keep to keep dust off the board. Um, comes with this one comes with a temperature sensor to put on your batteries a lot of a lot of products you have to pay extra for that and this you know it's not factory default turned on but this thing has arc fault protection you know for my home you know it'd be something i want arc fault protection and by code it you know you actually need that in some places so this is the otg board look for it at our um installers uh, look for it on hurricanewindpower.com and I hope this has cleared up, you know, some of the, some of the mystique, mystique, if you will, of the combiner boxes, how to run these breakers. This is a basic solar setup and uh, we'll be getting with you on the wind, how to do that here soon. Just a couple final install notes. Um, we put our screens in down here where we're pulling air. So we've put the remote temperature sensor through over on this side and I'm trying to plug it in backwards and bring that on down. And this last little fella goes over this. Make sure everything's tight, right? And then uh, this goes down on here like so. And away we go.